So once you have your cover nice and filled up so everyone's gonna see what a great job you did, you can start coloring. Remember one important thing, when we're coloring, we wanna make sure that it looks like it does in real life. So am I gonna color Miss Olette's purple, face purple? Mm -mm, probably not, because her face isn't purple. So I'm gonna make sure I try my best to get all the colors that are on my cover to look like real life. I'm gonna give you Miss Olette a blue shirt because I know she likes to wear Brooke shirts. And I'm gonna give her some maroon, a maroon skirt because she has these really cool pants that I can't find that are the same color and I've been wanting them forever. So I'm gonna draw the color of the pants that I love when she wears. And I'm gonna make her shoes match her dress. Give Miss Olette pink hair. What do you think? Pink? Does Miss Olette have pink hair? She does. So I'm going to give her brown hair because I want my pictures to match what I see in real life. And I'm going to give her a nice big red smile because Mrs. Olette is always smiling. Now I'm going to color Miss Christmas. I'm gonna give Miss Chrisman a blue shirt also, cause I know she really likes blue. See how I'm trying to make sure I stay in the lines when I'm coloring too. I'm trying to do my very best while I'm coloring. I'm gonna give Miss Olette, Miss Crispin, a black skirt because I know she likes black pants. So Miss Crispin's gonna have a nice black skirt. But I'm gonna give Miss Crispin brown shoes because I know she doesn't wear black shoes. Um, I'm going to start coloring Miss Christmas' pretty long hair. She has very long hair. I'm going to give Miss Christmas a nice big pink bow for her hair. Color in her face. Give her her nice big smile. And now I'm going to go on to color my music note.
in my math problem. So while I'm doing all this, you guys can be coloring in your cover also. And lastly, I'm going to color my elephant and piggy book. I'll color it pink, just the same color as piggy. And I'll color in this huge teaching book. I'm going to color my teaching book purple because purple is my favorite color. Okay, friends, my cover, I feel like I could still add a few things to my cover. I still have some space up here and down here. So if you're looking at your cover and you feel like you have some space left that you need to cover, that you need to add things to, you can go ahead and do that. And when you're finished with that, when you're finished with that, then you'll be all done with your cover. And we are finished with our first day of writing our book from home. Remember, Make sure you write your first and your last name. Make sure your capitals are capital. Make sure your lowercase are in the two lines if they're both in the two lines. Remember to start your picture in pencil first and remember to try your very, very best. I will be checking in with you guys tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed making your cover.